Hi everyone, uh, my name is Paul Barrow. Uh, today's video we're looking at criminal law. Uh, we're going to consider two cases primarily uh, because they, they are at the foundation of what criminal law, uh, specifically the courts are meant to tackle in terms of um, behaviours which are by, by themselves uh, private in nature, but they could have wider uh, ramification in terms of um, policy objectives and how um, um, you know um, any sort of uh, precedent set on a given case could have you know uh, a, a broader effect in society. Now um, we know that law is there to pr uh, preserve order and decency. It's meant to uh, prevent against any um, form of unwarranted harm. Now, in so doing, there's two cases we can look at to see how the law has dealt with these issues in practice. The first being uh, Brown, uh, which was a case uh, reported in 1993. Um, it was a group of men uh, who engaged in sadomasochist um, sexual activity, which um, consisted of uh, whipping, caning, and, you know, utilizing stinging needles around the genitalia area. Um, it was the view of the House of Lords that this behavior constituted um, uncivilized um, cruelty, and it was a particular act of violence, which um, in the view of Lord Templeman, um, society had a need and a right to be protected um, from. And in a way, uh, this view might, this view uh, may seem correct on the surface. However, when we look to another case, which is uh, Wilson in 1996, we see sort of something of a similar nature in that the husband of a wife uh, took a, a butter knife, a hot butter knife, to brand his initial uh, in his wife's buttocks. And in so doing, um, the wife was reported to have sustained some sort of illness or affection from, resulting from that act. Again, two consenting adults, but testing the boundaries of what might be deemed acceptable behaviour. This is the challenge um, uh, of, of law. In the case of Brown, for example, um, the two men were rightly convicted under Section 47 of the Offences Against the Persons Act. Um, you know, uh, the, the actual offence there was actual bodily harm, so which the, uh, in the opinion of the court, this, this was right in the given case. Um, as, uh, although no uh, medically reported long-lasting harm was was done, um, in contrast to Wilson. Um, now, in the case of Wilson, um, there was a similar conviction on the section forty-seven actual bodily harm. But upon appeal, Lord Justice Russell, uh, the court in the Court of Appeal, uh, regarded this as. Um, uh, a wrong judgment and obviously declared that uh, this was a private act and, and you know the courts are in no business to engage uh, in deciding um, or engaging in some sort of um, paternalism control um, in regulating the behaviors of two private consenting adults. Now in my view this seems to be uh, a great deal of contradiction. Whereas in the case of Brown, it was obviously men in the in, in a larger group, um, obviously using um, objects which are harmful to the body to derive some sort of pleasure, sexual pleasure or stimuli. Um, and in the case of Wilson, it's obviously quite similar in the fact that the husband used a hot butter knife, which um, does have the effect of producing some lasting harm and depending on um, how one's body is composed and 
how one reacts to certain objects. But this is nonetheless harmful. Um, it just begs the question, why did the court um, look to take a slightly different view from that which was present in Brown? Uh, Brown's case um, was clearly um, on civilised violence. Um, or uh, on civilised cruelty, whether the act itself um, was done in a way to derive pleasure, whether or not the adults in, in question were consenting, irrespectively, the judgment reached was that it was harmful and um, that sort of notion and activity, um, society had a need to be protected um, from that. Now, in Wilson, it's obviously um, two married couple within a, a matrimonial household. Um, obviously, we can't stretch the uh, possibility or the boundaries of the facts. But let's suppose we have such scenario where um, uh, the, the Wilson couple decide to um, invite another such couple in which they could in, all engage in branding their wives, uh, their initials on their wives' buttocks. Um, what would be the policy consideration in such instance? Um, so I think, uh, in my view, the courts have slightly um, been misdirected here um, in that they should have been consistent that whilst it's within the matrimonial home, um, these acts are um, liable to create um, harm, to cause harm to one's body. And there should be some sort of um, uh, human right underpinning around uh, the um, dignity of one's own, oneself, one's body. Um, and the, despite uh, the circumstances of being within the the harmony of a loving couple and the household of a loving couple, um, that that could obviously in itself cause problems uh, in the sense that um, you know the the love or the intimacy could um, cause um, one to do outrageous things, even to the detriment of their own. Um, health or body so um, let me leave that question to you guys let me know what you think do you think that the courts have been were wrong in terms of their judgment do you think that they should have been consistent with the ruling that they made in Brown um, Wilson should have been consistent with with Brown or do you think they uh, are both wrong with respect to um, you know the the courts encroaching on private activity, whilst seemingly violent, were private in nature and, and um, shouldn't be the business of the courts or uh, society at large. So let me know on um, your thoughts on the comments below. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time.